Welcome back. You know, the historic and horrific winter storm of 2022 left Buffalo paralyzed and even worse, took the lives of many Western New Yorkers. Here today to talk about an effort to stay and keep prepared are University District Council member Rashid N.C. Wyatt and Nick Bond, CEO of the American Red Cross of Western New York. Thank you both so much for coming in. Thank you. For Rashid, us. I'll start with you. Let's talk about the Buffalo Common Council and this winter preparedness that you guys are starting. Yeah, the Common Council is taking our winter preparedness very seriously. Last year, as you stated, we lost lives and um, we want to try to do the best we can to be prepared just in case the worst. And I think it's so important that we give the citizens and residents the confidence that we are doing something to make sure that if the we have the worst, that we're preparing them. So the Common Council has put through a number of events, five locations that we're going to actually have a forum where people can go pick up some of the winter prepared gifts as well as getting information. They can sign up for heat. Um, we've partnered with about 30 organizations, including the American Red Cross, to really make sure that we can do the best we can and making sure that we're prepared this year, um, unlike last year. Mm -hmm. And Nick, that leads us to you. So you brought in some of these things that I'm assuming is what our residents are going to be able to get when they come to these events. Yeah, you know, we brought examples of things that we would um, talk to residents about uh, purchasing and getting to be prepared. Okay. You know, we think about um, the uh, the number of people that were trapped in cars mm -hmm. and couldn't get a hold of people because their ca cars are on a gas. You know, having a a rechargeable uh, radio that you can crank that you can also charge your cell phone on, oh, wow. uh, which is a which is a cool piece to have. These are the things that I actually keep in my car um, so that if if I were to become stranded, that I would have the ability to, to care for myself until uh, emergency personnel could arrive. Nice. Tell me more about what this winter prep kit should look like. What are some of these items? Well, some of the things that the Common Council has put together is we actually have some gloves, um, hand warmers, um, candles, as well as a jumpsuit um, if you're going to be doing some snow removal. Mm -hmm. You have an actual jumpsuit. Um, so those are some of the things that we have had donated from different organizations, as well as matches, um, different things. And so the other organizations that will be there will also be providing other things as well. Um, but this is what we're going to be giving someone in a nice, neat bag um, to make sure that, again, they have something that helps them be ready just in case there's an emergency. And tell us about some of the other events coming up. Well, we have events throughout the city, um, Northwest Community Center. So if you're in North Buffalo, that'll be an event that you're gonna, you can attend. That's actually on a November 2nd. We have one on November 8th at the Bell Center, November 11th at the Central Library, Delavan Grider on November 14th, and November 15th, 16th at Taj Collins Community Center. Um, these are all events that we're gonna make sure, again, we have a host of different organizations that will be able to give people information, as well as they'll get these give these goodies that they can keep just in case there's an emergency. And Nick, what did it mean for you and the Red Cross of Western New York to jump on board in this preparation and making sure that the city is prepared? Because we can't help what might happen with the weather, right? Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome to have a partnership like this where we can be involved. You know, for us, a lot of people see the Red Cross when a shelter opens. They see our, our trailers and our equipment and our volunteers out providing support. Uh, for us, we want to try to keep people in their homes. So all the supplies and all the uh, the things that they could do to prepare themselves to stay in their homes is is great. Um, but also having the, the opportunity to to serve the community in the shelters, you know, if it's needed in the places that it's needed most. Mm -hmm. And for all of these events, is there a registration process that needs to happen? Well, they can go on to the buffalowinterprep.com website and get all the information for these various events. Um, they don't have to register, they can just come, um, but we definitely want to make certain that we get the information out. They can go to Buffalo Common Council web um, Facebook page and get more information, but we want to make sure that people take the precaution to be prepared just in case the worst happens, you're better prepared than we were last year. Absolutely. We saw it. We were devastated by what happened last year, but all we can do is stay educated. We can't help what's coming. There's snow in the forecast for this week yeah. even it's already here <laughs> we can't evade winter but these are the steps that you can make sure if you are ever in a situation that you are safe and what does it mean for you guys coming together as a as a council to make sure that our community has everything that they need so they it, can protect it's themselves cri it's critically important chelsea i mean i think that residents have come to us and they want to make certain that we're prepared mm -hmm. and work partnering with the American Red Cross, that's what they do. And so having that partnership is gonna be something again that gives people the confidence that 
the, you know, the council has taken it seriously. We have a partner like the American Red Cross that they deal with not just winter disasters, but any disaster there throughout the country. Um, that's a great partnership. And so again, um, it's, it's great feeling that um, we are doing all we can to make sure in the event of an emergency, we're making sure our residents are prepared. Okay, and you said that first one is coming up November 2nd? November 2nd. All righty, well, thank you again for coming in. And viewers, again, the Buffalo Common Council Winter Preparedness Series is happening throughout Buffalo starting Thursday, November 2nd at the Northwest Buffalo Community Center. To register for this or any of their Winter Preparedness Series, just head over to their website, buffalowinterprep.com. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you, thank you for having us.